Hey guys, yeah, I'm back after four weeks uh, on the road. I think I put like 2,400 miles, uh, not with the bike, with uh, just out there. Um, eh, let me put this up a little bit, a little bit of wind in my face there. Yeah, um, I've been out racing, you know, with the car. So uh, I know you guys see my last video. What was that? You see, my last video was at the um, with my race car and what I do, and the one before that I was at the Ducati deal. That was pretty cool in Indiana. So yeah, four weeks on the road racing, and man, like the title says, how long is too long? Uh, also, how much is too much? That's kind of I'll get to to the uh, what I'm talking about. It's just good to be back on the bike. You know, how long is too long? Is what I meant is um, is uh, how long do you guys go? before it's too long that you haven't ridden. Like me, I could go a day and I'm jonesing to get on the bike. So I did have my supermoto, but it's really not the same thing. It's my pit bike and I don't consider it like, I guess I could have fun with it. A lot of people do. Uh, when I'm at the racetrack, everybody loves the supermoto. They think it's super cool. But for me, I want to be on my GS. I want to be something on, whoa, what's this guy doing? Whoa, yeah. Uh, that's unbelievable. But yeah, so, it looked like he was just going to blow through that stop sign. Anyway, so I, um, like I said, you know, one day is too long for me, and uh, uh, the Supermoto is okay, but it's, I'm only using it for a pit bike. I'm not going out. I don't really have time to, you know, because I'm busy racing, and you know, I'm, or I'm driving, you know, long distance. I, like I said, about 2,400 miles. I've been to two races. I had to do some other work and help out friends and stuff like that, but it was like a big round trip, and it was super cool, but, man, I was just so happy to get on the GS, and... I really don't have any place to go. I'm getting ready for another race this week. I just wanted to go. I just wanted to ride because I, I want to get on this bike. And uh, yeah, so to, for me, how long is too long? It's uh, one day is too long, you know? And um, I'd like to know what you guys think. You know, uh, I'm, I know I'm talking with my hand a lot. You know, real quick off topic. I'm gonna put the cruise on for one second. This one gentleman was very upset that I'm talking with my hand and not uh, on, the, on the handlebars. And here you go, I got both, both hands. Uh, just kind of waving, just doing my thing, and I can go into turns and stuff. Not, not that. Like I'll just uh, counter steer it and counter steer. Well, that's a, a great thing. You know, whatever. If I push the, if I push the handlebar, um, like I want to go to the left, it goes right. If I want to go to the right, it goes left. You just kind of whatever side you lean on the handlebar, it's gonna go. Whatever. I know that's not here neither there. And bud, if you're watching, I probably doesn't watch anymore. I can ride with no hands. You know what I mean? It's calm. It's quiet. And I can't help it. I, I'm Italian. I talk that way. So. All right, so, um, yeah, uh, like I said, one day is too long, I, I just I just love riding, and I'd like to know your guys' thoughts of if, if you go along, if it's okay just to be not riding for a week or two, three weeks, whatever, and then you get on it and get back on your feel, or do you feel like a little withdrawal, like you need to go on? I need to go on the bike because it's for my mental health, I mean, it just makes me feel good, I forget about everything. Uh, it just, I just, I, I just love the idea of riding. Yeah, I know it's dangerous and you can die on a motorcycle, but it, it's, uh, it's mental health for me. I, I love it. It's just uh, something I, I really like doing. So, I, just let me know, guys. You just let me know. Yeah. So that's my uh, uh, thing. Is uh, you know. Everybody's different, I know. And then let's move on to the next one, and I'll get back to how long is too long, but is how much is too much. It's like, how much is like, uh, I guess I want to talk about gear. So how much is the heat too much? Like, I know I'll, dry, I'll ride pretty much um, all, year long, all year long. It's like a 11 month riding season down in North Carolina. And uh, in Jersey, it was like eight months, nine months maybe. Uh, I don't mind riding when it's, when it's cool. Um, but, uh, and I don't mind when it's riding when it's heat, but when it's hot out, and since it's the summertime or end of the summer, uh, I'd like to ask guys, uh, how much is too much, how much heat can you guys deal with? I don't mind it. Uh, I'll go out if it's 95 degrees. I'll go out if it's 100 degrees because I, I like riding, and uh, I'd much rather be riding when it's super hot than when it's super cold, but I mean, that's a preference. Everybody has their own preference. Um, yeah, so that, you know, but that's my preference. And so, you know, kind of, you know, I guess it's a play on words, you know, how much, uh, how long is too long and how much is too much. And uh, for me, you, you, it's really got to be, um, I, I guess I just like riding. And, you know, I, I just don't, un I just don't, um, 
I don't know how I'm going to put this to sound, uh, uh, to get what's in my head, but I haven't been riding as long as many people might think I've been riding. I mean, I rode when I was younger, I never had a bike, I just rode my brother's bike, rode my friend's bike, always liked bikes, then I got into racing, you know, racing cars, and it kind of put the bikes on the back burner, and before I know it, all these years go by, and I've been hankering to get on a bike so bad, and I get back on a bike. And uh, my first new bike was a Speedmaster, and uh, 2018 Speedmaster. And uh, uh, I know you guys are going to think, oh, wow, he hasn't been written. You know, I don't have the experience you guys have. Uh, so, so riding is not that it's new to me, it's just new to me again. And it's just so exciting, and I love talking about bikes, and I love riding bikes, and I just, I like the motorcycle so much, it's just so new. I've been doing drag racing for 40 years, and although I do love it, and I still do it, because obviously I, I wouldn't do it if I didn't still love it, I was just looking for something new, and something different, and it's, you know, I'm, I, anything that's got an engine and uh, wheels, I, I love, and so bikes were just like a natural natural thing and I don't know what spurred me on to it but I, I just wanted to get a bike I just wanted a bike for the last four or five years I just was dying to get a bike and uh, you know finally got back into it and I'm just loving it and uh, so the guys that have been riding for 40 whatever so plus years or you know or 10 years or whatever do you just is a bike just you know when I have time I ride no big deal or, or is it a passion obviously it's a passion with me I can't see it ever ending until I can't get on the bike anymore or you know uh, I'm dead you know somebody you know something happens to me whatever so I just can I, I, I can see myself riding for as long as I can possibly ride and uh, because it's a it's a it's a mental like I said mental health for me it's just a it's a great getaway like I, I'm not going anywhere I did my errands this morning I guess I should have turned the camera on but I had the bike out but I didn't so I'm just just riding around just for the sake of riding you know and I don't know do you guys do that just for sake of riding or you just have to have a destination I like to have a destination but I don't need a destination I just need a place to uh, I just need the bike I need a bike to ride that's all I do that's all I need so Sorry about that guys yeah I just got a phone call and I had to take it it's like I could be riding for hours and never get a phone call as soon as I turn the camera back on as soon as I turn the camera on I get a phone call so I had to get it guys so yeah um so is it too hot for you to ride uh, like I said it don't matter to me I think that's where I left off I'm not sure but it doesn't really matter to me the cold is what I'm oh, the biggest thing I'm concerned about but I will ride you know in the 40s with no problem so, you know, and it's never too much. And I, I think I was talking about also what I was talking about, about my riding experience. I think, yeah, that's what I was talking about, my riding experience. Like, guys, so I, maybe it's a shock to some of you guys, maybe not, I don't know. But uh, I feel like I've been riding my whole life, even though I, I, there's like a, a big void in between when I first started and, and, and my recent riding. And uh, well, maybe you guys can pick it up how, how because I'm just so... Um, uh, just so excited to be on a bike and always looking at different bikes loving to talk love to talk about bikes with anybody uh, uh, a bunch of my friends at the racetrack that I, the recent recent friends that I race with uh, tell me about their biking experience and I, you know and so hopefully we can get together and go ride and uh, just I just love it all you know it's just uh, and so it's cool so I have a good experience and maybe I should uh, uh, be happy that I've waited this long to get back into riding because uh, you know I, I'm enjoying it. It's not. I'm not burnt out by it at all. Where I can understand why some people have stopped. I've talked to people. Yeah, it's, I don't feel it's safe anymore. Too many crazy people on the road, which I totally understand. But I'm not going to let that stop stop me from riding. You know, if uh, something happens to me riding, something happens to me. I, I can't. I can't um, not live my life. I mean, the, 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 the race car that I race is dangerous. I could die in that race car, or I can get seriously hurt. So I, I don't do things because I uh, uh, because I'm worrying about getting hurt or anything like that. I just do it because I enjoy it, and I, I like the the, general, the 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 competition, obviously, and the, the adrenaline rush. Uh, there's no competition in riding a bike because I don't race it competitively. But I, I do I do I really enjoy the bike, and. Um, I enjoy riding and uh, I just am looking forward to riding for many more years. How many years those are, uh, I have no clue. I may not, I don't know who, how long I'm going to be able to ride, but I'm going to ride as long as I can and uh, just enjoy life. So, uh, yeah, so that's it. So how much, you know, how long is too long for sitting on a bike? I mean, for not, having, not riding a bike and um, how much is too much as far as... Uh, Riding it is it just burn you out where you don't want to ride anymore? 
you know, uh, how much is too much? Which you, you can say about anything, putting accessories. I mean, or is this just no limit? I guess what I'm trying to say, there's really no limit. The limit is up to you, to what you want to do. Uh, I don't mind riding in the heat. The cold, I'm not a big, big fan of, but the heat, I'm not a problem at all. And as far as doing something to the bike, I don't mind working on the bike, tearing it apart, anything like that. And, uh, you know, and I haven't got burned out riding a bike, you know. Even when I'm riding a bike and I'm just, you know, like it's been a long ride and I'm tired and everything, after about 15, 20 minutes, I just want to get back on it and ride again. You know, and that's, I guess that's a sign that you really enjoy what you're doing or you enjoy your, the hobby you have. So, and then that's another thing too. I know some people, it's transportation. Uh, I think most people in the United States, it's more than transportation. It's, it's a way of life. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, I couldn't agree more with them. It's, it's just that, um, I don't know, the, caram the, camar the camaraderie that bikers have. In fact, I was just pulled over talking at a stop sign, pulled up to the side, talking on the phone, and a motorcycle guy came by, you know, asked me if I was okay, gave him a thumbs up, and it was on our way. You don't get that with a car, right? So there's so many aspects of it, you know, uh, the mental health, uh, uh, just the pure, uh, uh, the pure pleasure of riding, uh, the friends you meet, and, you know, all the other stuff. So, yeah. So, yeah, so I guess that's it. I mean, it's not a long video. I just wanted to jump back on the bike. I mean, jump, uh, uh, put the camera back on, just to put the camera back on and um, uh, uh, talk, because I haven't talked to you guys in a while. And I kind of go, I kind of go through, you know, it's funny, I go through withdrawals, little withdrawals, that I, when I don't uh, turn the camera on. Because, you know, I'm not riding with people. And uh, I kind of think that, you know, you guys are riding with me, so I'm really always riding with somebody. Although I can't, I can't talk to you unless you make a comment, but that's fine. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I mean, the only thing I haven't done right now is, uh, oh, we haven't gone for a blast. Let's see how, how fast we can get this up to before I get to that green charger. You know, because it's always fun to uh, just nail it. Now, I don't want to go too crazy. Well, I don't want to go crazy because there was some, this is a busy road, but we'll see. This guy's turning. before I uh, say goodbye and uh, until the next time I don't know I'm going racing again this week uh, and I'll have one when I come back it's a short race it's close by so maybe I'll do a video I will do a video when I get back and uh, I guess that's it for now guys um, thanks for taking a look